हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर वीडियोस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व एट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन ए पोजीशन फंक्शन एस ऑफ टी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू टेन टी स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज इन एम एम राइट एंड वेर टी इज इन सेकेंड राइट सो इट इज सेट दैट डिटरमाइन द डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द पार्टिकल ड्यूरिंग टाइम इंटरवल फ्राम टी वन to t5 seconds right so we have to find the displacement delta s and this will be from t 1 second to 5 second right so we have to find this delta s right so the displacement travel right so this will be s5 minus s1 right so s5 is the position of the particle after 5 second and this is the position of the particle after 1 second right so we can find S five by putting five equals t equals to five second in this function, right? So this will be S five second. So this is ten into five squared plus twenty. So this will be twenty five twenty five into ten. So this will be two fifty plus twenty. So this will S five comes out to be two seventy mm, right? And similarly, to find S one, we will put t equals to one second in this function, right? So this will be ten into one square plus twenty. So this comes out to be thirty mm. So delta S is equal to the final position minus the initial position, right? So the final position is after five seconds, and the initial position is after one second. So this will be so S five is this thing, right? So S five is two seventy. So I will write two seventy. Minus this 30 mm, so this difference is 240 mm. So this is the displacement, right? So this is the answer for part A. The displacement of the particle during the time interval is this much, right? Now for solution of B, it is asked that find the average velocity of the particle during this time interval. So average velocity is equal to the displacement. Divided by time taken, right? So the time taken is, or we can say that this is delta t. So the displacement is two forty, and the displacement is five minus one. So this is four seconds, right? So this is two forty divided by four. So v average is sixty mm per second, right? So this is the average velocity of this particle when it is traveling, right? and in the third part we are asked to find the acceleration right so the acceleration so we are given this s of t so we have to find the uh, acceleration function to find the acceleration so first we have to find velocity right so velocity is ds by dt so if we in, uh, take the derivative of this so this will be 20t and then we want to find the acceleration so then it is dv by dt Right, or we can write it like this. So this will be d divided by dt and ds by dt. Right. So we will take the derivative of this. So then this will be twenty. Right. So this will be mm per second square. So this means that this particle is traveling with constant acceleration. Right. So the acceleration after one second. Will be equal to twenty mm per second square. So this is the solution of this simple problem.